Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman Hokkaido video sponsored by RageWorks.net. Today I have a walkthrough for you on how to unlock the Mini Ninjas Easter Egg. Now you're just gonna I'm just gonna show my loadout. You can take any silence weapon you want. I take the Krugemeyer because I love it. Um you need the disposable scrambler and the lock pick and you need to do a little bit of setup so I am just starting from Tobias Reaper's room and I took the coins for distractions we need to slide down the pipe and we need the um the doser for the the neural chip in the doctor's brain This is where we need the lockpick because we need the wrench later on. Basically, um, back in like 2009, IO Interactive made a little game called Mini Ninjas. And you may have seen one of the characters in the doctor's office ne in the, um, hey, so the room next to where you um, go disguised as Portman. So we're going to be interacting with that and a few others. I find that to do this, the best disguise is the um, the bodyguard. You can do pretty much any disguise you want, but this gets you pretty much everywhere you need to go without any problems. So just get the bodyguard's attention here and we're right outside the first room. Wait a second, he'll come in to the stairwell. Hello? Is and anyone there? Just stop. Hammer time. <gasps> doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, the first ninja is right out in the next room, so we're going to take his disguise and start the, the Easter egg. But then we have to do some more... Um, set up put one right between the eyes ninja disappear we're gonna hide this body be careful you don't get spotted now we need to let out smith because he will give us the master rfid chip and that's why we needed the scrambler now, while I passed the other two doctors there, I activated the neural chip. So he's flipping out now. Hey, look, everybody, it's Jake. I see you, Jake, Sully. Say hi, Jake. So just hide in the next room, wait for the guards to pass by because they do they are enforcers when you're wearing this disguise. Now, since this isn't an official mission, it doesn't matter. I just, by habit, I try not to kill people. So this well, technically is a silent assassin. Right assassin heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. You can kill him if you want, especially since those guards are never going to come back to that room. But I knock him out and just put him in a closet. So now we can finally go back to actually looking for the ninjas. The second ninja is at the top of the Japanese garden where I slid down the pole like a couple of st steps away from that that pole so we're gonna just climb right back up and with that master RFID chip it's so much easier you just gotta watch out for this guard that walks up and down the steps he's on the side there so no chance of him seeing us See, here's ninja number two. Please 
thing. Moving on. I started to go back in, but it's actually a quicker way because the next ninja is on the other side of the hospital, out where the um, the snowplow is. It's hanging in the dash of the snowplow. Wow! Free running. Thought that trend was pretty much dead by now. Now you might hear in the background if you're listening a rumbling, and if you're playing this, you definitely feel it in your controller. That guy's not a an enforcer, but I didn't take a chance. Just run up here, run down one landing, and come outside. The guys on patrol, you don't have to worry about them either. They they don't recognize you, but let them pass by, obviously, because you're about to shoot something. You see outside, you can definitely hear the rumbling. go moving on to number four this one is probably the easiest one because it's inside it's inside Tobias Reaper's room so go back the way we came run down this ramp you'll get those bandages off in no time at all and because this doctor came up with Portman I um I just decided to go straight straight the way that they came Now make sure you're watching your map if you're using the mini map because the um, director and Yamazaki walk through that that aisle that I just passed through and both of them are enforcers for this this disguise. Is ninja number four. Now, number five, this is why we cleared out the um, the doctor and the, the guards in the, the heart freezer. Because it's in that room. So we can just run through this cafeteria area. Look on the left side of the heart and underneath there's another ninja. Number six is close by. It's in the sleeping quarters area and it's in the section with beds zero, one through ten. back out to the Japanese garden you gotta be a little bit careful with this one because we're going to the tree that's by the bridge and the um both the director and Yamazaki are at the bridge at uh different intervals well they're together but usually the director is waiting for her you see there's the director Look, right there man. good job There's the ninja. Blammo. And you see, I have the bodyguard disguise on. Even though I pulled out a gun and shot, nobody thought anything of it. Now, next, it, again, it's nearby. We're going to the onsen. 
or hot spring. We took the shortcut because we need to go into the back room and turn off the cold water. That's what you need the wrench for. Wait for the people to come out and wait till you hear a lot of complaining. And in this case, I had to wait because Yamazaki's right outside with her guard. That would have been game over. See, now you see him using the two-way mirror, so it's pretty much safe to go in. I just closed the doors to be safe again, even though it's a silenced gun, we're taking a shot. Eight. We got two to go. So now we're heading to the kitchen. And it's in a refrigerator that's like right by the, the stairs that, that lead down from the the um the dining area. Put you right downstairs. Now one of the chefs don't care about you. The other guy on my left, I have to distract. So if you're a little bit faster than me, you probably won't be spotted at all. But if you did this as part of a run, it would still count as Silent Assassin, because even though this guy has me compromised, he's going in a box, so he's not telling anyone who I am. takes care of them and here is the ninth ninja right in the fridge like I said Lamo the tenth and final ninja is up on the mountain cliff where the nin where you start in the ninja outfit so just go through this hallway past where you got the wrench come out here no need to worry because none of the guys out here are enforcers for this disguise just keep on moving. Don't mind me. Forty-seven. I have intel. So Diana's just talking about the um, the pilot and everything. Then we run up the wall. Just keep watching the edge. There's the ninja. And that's it for the Easter egg. Once you shoot the last one, you watch the mountain. You see the explosion. The volcano has gone off. Now, this is a great Easter egg to pair up with uh, the one that I call Hokkaido Horror, where you see Godzilla come out. This would be a fantastic way to pair them together. Uh, if you do this, and and then um, and then you you know you're in the ninja outfit and you climb up the 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 wall, 
you'll have enough time to activate the Hokkaido Hara Easter Egg as long as you do it quickly. Uh, but I had already done it. You can click the link here if you want to see it, see how to do it. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, should have a video for the 15th elusive target tomorrow. And I hope you all enjoy that. I hope you enjoy this as well. And um, definitely check out my other Hitman videos and my streams. We're working on Final Fantasy 15 now. You guys have a nice day. And I hope, <clears throat> excuse me, I will I'll see you in the next video.